Right, this is the uh, Audi Mark III TT. Um, just driven it 200 yards out of the garage. Uh, first impressions, it just feels, um, the interior feels like just a, a car. You don't get the feeling of being in a little sports car, I'd say quite as much as you would with a Mark I. Uh, impressive digital screen, I don't know if you can have a look at that, Ruthie. So this is the um, two litre diesel, sorry, two litre petrol uh, S line. We're just gonna we're gonna hit a little bit of dual carriage road, uh, so we're just gonna put our foot down and see what it does. This is an automatic, and uh, if you stop that second, Ruthie, just jump in. Yeah, that's right, well that's quite impressive. Very solid, solid suspension. Brakes are very sharp. That's, uh, that's good. It's like a car though, space. Right, let's have a little look. So, this is the dash. Press this uh, view button here. For some reason we've lost the. Uh, there we go. I've gone to the sat nav, but for some reason it's saying it's night time. Don't quite know why that is. Um, so here's the uh, turbine um, air vents quite a lot of room there isn't it Ruthie? It feels like, it just feels like a, a full-blown car opposed to a little sporty number that you get with a TT in my mind. Zero legroom down there. Just going to walk around the car so you've got uh, the fuel cap just like the old one. So this is the Quattro. Right, okay, so uh, then we're now going to try the diesel. Sorry about the stutter. Key just goes down here, anywhere out of the way. Can you see it down here? Right, this is the start button over here. I think you put your foot on the brake, thing on the start button, and press clutch. Sorry, clutch, brake. Right, okay. So, right, I got it wrong, but it told me what to do. This doesn't have the sat nav on it. So this is a diesel, slightly noisier straight away. Quite a long clutch there. Yeah? All right, it's not been driven for a while. <laughs> Brakes are all fused up. Get the mirror right. Okay, we can stop filming. Right, so this is uh, now, as I say, the diesel, two litre diesel. I think it does not to 60 in about seven seconds. Um, it's not got the, uh, you can feel the difference in the suspension actually, the last one I drove had a sport suspension, stiffer suspension, this doesn't, quite, oh yes, that is actually quite noisy, um, on the acceleration, much nicer to have a gear stick, I'm not, not keen on the automatic at all, so we're just going to drive up the hill that we just drove up just now, no traffic in front, so in front so we can burn it. Right, got my foot flat down, not really accelerating away. Um, saying that, I've just looked at the speedometer and it is actually faster. Um, right, something to do with weight is relevant at that point, but I won't say what. So, um, surprisingly, actually, very positive in it. I'm actually having to shout because it is quite noisy, um, which is a shame. You see, it's, it is noisier, isn't it, Ruthie? Yeah, definitely. So, uh, I'm not sure whether that's just a diesel or whether there's other differences in soundproofing. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a shame, actually. I was, I was tempted to think about the diesel, but I'm not so sure now. Uh, the diesel does, um, the diesel, the ultra version, does 70 miles to the gallon, which is uh, quite credible for a little sports car. 
um, again uh, what other features have we got this one doesn't have the sat nav the sat nav is an optional extra and you do have to pay for that I would imagine it's four or five hundred quid knowing that so most things are for these on uh, on Audis but I, I, you need to check that so what do we get if we get view do you get the shrunken the dials go down can you see them so the speedometer goes down rev counter goes down press the view button again up it comes and that's really it really actually so the digital side of the screen is really quite quite boring actually uh, when it comes to um, the, uh, the non sat nav version so we'll just go around the car so this has just got the normal headlights there we still look pretty sleek and the grill is uh, this is this is not the um, this is just the sport line rather than the S line. We we'll have a little look in the boot now at the size. So um, it's, I would say it's about the same as the uh, Mark One. I believe the seats go right uh, down flat, so that gives you a little bit more room. And the line is to just go straight up there rather than down and up, so maybe a wee bit more room like that. But this looks, this doesn't look as deep, I would say, from here to here. Right, so that's the uh, end of the test drive. So we did the diesel, uh, the two-wheel drive diesel, two-litre. Um, that was the Sport line, and then the background there is the S line, uh, Quattro petrol. Tiptronic uh, gear changing, uh, very fast, very powerful, very comfortable. Loads of gadgets. The I've just found out that the um, the sat nav is actually 17, no, 1800 pounds, but that gets you onto Twitter and Facebook as well. So uh, you can see the two difference in designs in the in the black, and uh, um, and I actually prefer the Mark One, I'm afraid, for uh, enjoyment of ride and stuff. But uh, amazing technical bit of wizardry in the uh, the new one uh, very nice but it's just too much like driving a normal car for me okay thanks very much